Hi, my name is Maria and I'm a mathematician and today I'm going to tell you whether you multiply or divide to get from kiloliters to decaliters. And what you need to know is that kiloliters are bigger than decaliters and to get from anything bigger to something smaller you are always going to multiply because it's going to result in a larger number of something small, okay? But instead of multiplying, I just like to look at it as moving decimal places. So if you can remember this little phrase, you might already know it, King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. This first D right here is the one that stands for deca. So if you ever want to move from anything that is in the kilo units to something that is in the deca, all you have to do is move one, two spaces. So for example, if I gave you five kiloliters and I wanted to know how many decaliters that was, all I would do is take that five and move two spaces to the right because that's the direction I was going in. So I take my five, when it has no decimal point, think of money, you're going to put it right after it like dollars, and you're going to go one, two, that's your new decimal point, fill in any empty spaces with zeros, so that means that five kiloliters is equal to 500 decaliters, okay? So what did I do? I actually multiplied, but the easier way to look at it is just go ahead and move two decimal spaces over to the right. So when you convert from kiloliters to decaliters, you multiply.